Hello everyone. My name is Nirmal Tevaratantri and I'm part of our Azure Advanced Networking Global Black Belt team. So today we are going to have a quick look at how Azure Bastion host works together with a virtual van. In this specific scenario, I'm also using a secured hub. So all of my traffic between VNet to VNet and also traffic going from the VNet uh, to the internet is going through uh, this Azure Firewall uh, deployed to my virtual WAN hub. Let's look at a couple of things before we move forward. Uh, the first thing that I do want to highlight is Azure Bastion host does not support uh, user-defined routes at the time of uh, recording this video. Best way to look at this information is to navigate to the Azure Bastion FAQ page. And in here, we have a section around user-defined routes, which means that within the Bastion subnet, uh, I cannot place a UDR and force traffic to go out uh, to the internet uh, via firewall. Instead, uh, traffic from the Bastion host uh, should go out directly uh, to be able to talk to uh, the management uh, endpoints. So let's have a look at my setup in here. So I have patch and host deployed as a VNet, and then I have three other spoke VNets that I've deployed uh, with a v, uh, virtual machine in each of the, the VNets, and these are all attached to a virtual van hub. So let's go back to my environment, and in here what I want to do is I'll first show my virtual van setup. Uh, so here I have one hub, um, this is where all of the virtual networks are connected to. So if I move to virtual network connections, uh, you will notice that all of the, uh, the VNets are connected to uh, the first hub that we looked at. And the same hub also is hosting uh, the Azure Firewall. Uh, so these are all hosted to, uh, connected to uh, my hub one. And here you can also see that um, it's attached to the default route table, but the propagation is set to none. So I'll quickly show how that's set up. So if I go into my hub, if I go to my firewall manager settings, and here we will go into the firewall manager configuration. And here you will see that I have uh, set internet traffic to go via the firewall, set private traffic to also go via the firewall. And this is applied for all three VNets. So from VNet 1, VNet 2, VNet 3, I have the exact same setting. So all internet traffic will go um, via the firewall and same for uh, private traffic. The only difference here is that for the Bastion host um, VNet, I have internet traffic going out direct instead of going via the NVA because it's not a supported scenario for us to force this to go um, via the NBA. So private traffic is still going via the firewall. So when I jump onto uh, the Bastion host and I'm connecting to another VM, uh, that traffic will be going via the firewall. Uh, we will also validate that uh, by looking at, the, uh, looking at the logs. Now let's have a look at how do we connect to a VM. Uh, so if I go back to uh, my resource group, uh, you can see that I have a uh, few VMs here. Uh, so if I click on a VM and if I click connect, I have this uh, option called a passion. And if I try to click on this, it's actually going to tell me that there is no uh, Bastion host uh, that it can connect to. And it's asking me to deploy a Bastion host. Uh, in fact, in my setup, I already have a deployed Bastion host, but because these are connected through virtual WAN, we, we don't have the option on the portal to go in and connect to a Bastion host. So I have deployed a Bastion host here uh, already. So a few things for this to work, we need to have Bastion host deployed as a standard uh, tier. And when you deploy the Bastion host as a, a standard, um, with, with the standard tier, you do get uh, additional settings. Uh, so that is all defined in this uh, configuration tab. Uh, you have this uh, new option called IP-based connection. Uh, so this is already uh, GA feature. 
um, and that was um, available uh, about two months back and this is the feature we will be utilizing to connect from the bastion host uh, to the vms uh, that i had so let's go to connect uh, within the bastion host resource and here I will be putting in the IP address of my first VM. Uh, and then you can see here, I have the option to do SSH or RDP depending on the, um, the type of the VM that you've deployed. I'm gonna provide my username. Uh, and then what I will do is I have my uh, SSH private key stored in my key vault. So I'm just gonna uh, fetch that by talking to my key vault. And then here, when I click connect, um, I'm connecting to my Bastion host and through the Bastion host, I'm now connecting to the first VM uh, in the uh, in, in, in VNet1. So that's the connection that we've just done. Uh, we can see the IP address in here. Um, and then what we will also do is we can create another connection. So I'll just use the second VNet, uh, so 20.4. Um, again, gonna use the same settings. Uh, here I'm going to use from key vault and then uh, hit connect. So that's also going to authenticate and uh, connect me to the second VM. Uh, yep, so we are connected. So this is the second VM. I can go in and do, go ahead and do it against the third uh, VM as well. Uh, so you can see that the connection is all working as uh, expected. Uh, hit connect and that would go in and uh, connect to, uh, to the third VM. So we've connected to uh, all of the VMs, we have uh, connectivity uh, that's going uh, through Bastion host and then going to these VMs. The next thing we would wanna uh, make sure is that because we have set private traffic to go via the firewall, we wanna make sure that um, it, it is actually going via the firewall. And the way to validate this is um, if I go back to my Bastion host resource, uh, go back to the overview, uh, what I want to validate here is the, the subnet uh, that this is part of. So you can see here, this uh, address space is uh, 20.40 uh, uh, and I've used the first subnet dedicated for the Bastion host. So this is the subnet that we are using. So what we will do now is um, I've configured my firewall to send logs to a storage account. Uh, so here, if I look at the uh, diagnostic settings, you will see here, um, I'm, I'm sending logs to a storage account and also at the same time sending logs to a log analytics as well. Uh, but I'm just going to use a storage account for this example. Uh, and here when I go to the storage account, uh, you will see that um, I have uh, the container for the logs. Um, and here I'm going to go to issue firewall and I will select the uh, resource group where I have the firewall deployed and then it will give me uh, a timestamp for me to go in and select the, uh, the the logs. It's much easier to do this through log analytics, uh, but I'm also using this option to uh, provide more information around how do you uh, download these logs if it's going to a storage account, and how can you properly format it uh, using uh, VS Code, and then be able to properly uh, analyze the, the logs. So I'm gonna download this file. And then what I will do is uh, once it's downloaded, I will open it up and um, show this in ES code. So here I have opened up uh, this file. And then um, what you do is when you open this up, um, it's it's in JSON annotation. So it's got the log uh, and it has some, all the details. What you can simply do on VS code is if you right click and say format document, it's just gonna break down uh, the uh, the log and here it's much easy so you can search for um, the IP prefix so in my case it was 10.40 and and here we can see if I scroll all the way down uh, you, you will find the uh, the different connections that I made so this is the first uh, connection that went to 20.4 10.4 uh, and 30.4 so all of the, um, the items the, the records are in here, which is proving that uh, the traffic is actually going via the firewall and, and hitting, uh, hitting, hitting this uh, VM. So we are still securing private to private uh, traffic. And also we are uh, leveraging a virtual van to provide us with all the connectivity uh, across all these three uh, different VNets that are in the environment. With that, I'm gonna uh, conclude uh, this uh, quick demonstration on how virtual van uh, can be utilized 
uh, together with the secured hub and also have batch and host uh, connected to a virtual van and have traffic go via the firewall uh, and, and uh, utilize the bastion host as a way to have secure access to uh, your virtual machines in the, uh, in the environment. Uh, thank you.